We are out on a little huckleberry hunt this morning. We have seen a lot of cars that are pulled off on the side of the road. So Jenny looked it up online if there's supposed to be a lot of berries around here. And she found a map that showed that this is like a really dense area with huckleberries. It might be a little too early to find ripe ones, but it would just be cool to find a huckleberry bush. I've picked a lot of strawberries, raspberries, and blueberries before, but I've never picked huckleberries. I found so. them when we were little, like we would find them when we were on hikes with my, my parents, but I cannot remember exactly what they looked like. Is it a huckleberry? Oh, no way! <laughs> we found some! <laughs> yep, these have got to be huckleberries. You can see because they have these flat bottoms on them. This is also another sign of a huckleberry. You see they have these oval leaves that are small. There's just a ton of them here. i got to try one. I don't know if it's ripe yet, but... Hmm? It's edible. It's a little sour. Awesome, I'm so happy. Yeah, they're all around you. Yeah, look at them, they're everywhere. Dang it, we need to stay here for a month now. Yeah, I don't know, mostly I've had them in jams and ice cream and stuff. So I'm not 100% sure how sweet they're supposed to get. Sounds like we don't know anything about bears except their names. Yeah, we really don't. <laughs> All I know is that when my parents have been like, oh, you, this berry is good to eat. I've eaten them all, and I can't even remember what they tasted like. I would eat them so fast. Now that we've found huckleberry plants, we have to protect them. Get out of here. I've eaten like 40 of them now. If it's lethal, I've definitely eaten enough. Mm. What a positive thing to say. <laughs> this is a little Hot Wheels car. What? The things you find in nature. I think some child threw it up here. Yeah, I don't know. We or were like... someone's dad threw it up here. <laughs> he was like, get that out of my face. I'd say your hunt was a success. Yeah, surprisingly so. <laughs> I actually read that um, the limit is 10 gallons per person per day. So I think we'll be all right. It's going to take us a while. We're so hidden in our little spot down here. We're really cramped in here, but I'm still gonna miss this spot because of the views we have. It is surprisingly hot here. We're only 44 miles from the Canadian border and really far north, but it's still reaching mid 80s and low 90s almost every single day. The elevation here is only around 3,800 feet, which is way lower than we we're expecting, which means it gets a little hotter than we thought it would, which is fine. We just have to go find some places to cool off during the heat of the day. So right now we're gonna head out and try to find a good place to get down to the North Fork of the Flathead River, which is just about two miles below us. In fact, we can see it from our campsite. This is our amazing view from our trailer. And you can see the road down below us and there's the Flathead River right there. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but we're not far from it. We are far from any of the access points, but there's some pullouts along this paved road right here and we're hoping we can pull out and find a way to hike down to it. Beautiful. I made it. It's a deep spot though. Look how deep that water looks. Yeah, it goes straight down. Wow. It's like a cliff in the water. You can see it from all the way up here. Sure is steep. Wow. Go for it? Yeah. 
this is a place where it's harder to go down than up. It's like the perfect swimming hole. Man, this is amazing. Well, what I'm worried about if you're swimming over there is that you're gonna get dragged out into the water and get caught. Yeah, that's definitely a fair worry. This river is actually really fast. It might not look like it, but we've seen some people coming floating down this and they're really flying. What a cool swimming spot. Careful, buddy. <laughs> I'm gonna put the action camera in the water and see if we can catch some fish. I don't know if this little stick is long enough. Yeah, you need like a 30 foot selfie stick. <laughs> I never thought I'd say my selfie stick wasn't long enough. <laughs> So what do you think about this river so far? The North Fork of the Flathead River is amazing. It's so beautiful. The water isn't too cold to swim in. It's crystal clear. There's lots of amazing spots along it like this that you can just find. We really lucked out in the swimming hole department. It's a quick climb. <laughs> it's just straight down right here. We even have a little friend that came to say hi. Here he goes. Uh oh. All right, we're finally heading back to get some huckleberries. You got me my can. I read that you should always have a can with a lid when you're gonna pick huckleberries because I guess a lot of times people fall because you are like just walking through the forest. So you want to make sure that you're not gonna smush your huckleberries. <laughs> oh yeah, this one has a lot on it. There's just so many huckleberries here, it's insane. I know. I'm really excited now because um, I, first of all, thought it would be a struggle to find two cups of ripe ones. Mm -hmm. But they're all like pretty ripe actually. Yeah. And so this was like, might as well. I'd say that we got enough. Yeah, I think we went a little, a little overboard. I was expecting to only find enough for this and we found like a gallon bag full. I got huckleberry fingers. <laughs> There's so many people here too. You can hear them all over. There's like probably 10 people. Here picking huckleberries. There's always plenty for everyone. Oh yeah, it's a good spot. After our very successful huckleberry picking yesterday, I'm going to try to use some of those huckleberries to make some jam. I've never made jam before, so it's gonna be kind of an interesting journey for me. According to the website I found, I'm really only gonna need some huckleberries, sugar, fresh lemon juice, and pectin. I've already rinsed and washed these huckleberries. They look awesome and they taste amazing. So I'm going to add those to the pot along with equal parts sugar. So this is going to be two cups of huckleberries and two cups of sugar. Hopefully that's not going to be too much sugar. We'll find out. Oh yeah, and then i got to add just a bit of water. And then cook it all up together. They've come to a boil now, so I'm just going to reduce the heat. Let it sort of simmer for a while till the berries get nice and soft and then I'm going to mash them up with a spatula. These got really soft and mushy really fast. I hope I didn't wait too long before I started to mush them up, but we'll see. Alright, I'm currently trying to mash these berries up. I don't have like a potato masher or anything like that, which I think is what most people would use. So we'll see if I can successfully get these good mashed. It's okay if there's some like full berries in there because that's the way I like my jam anyways. Okay, I've added the lemon juice and now I'm going to add the fruit pectin and let it boil for a minute and then put it into the mason jar. Alright, see if I can get any of this in here. Okay, got a little left over, that's alright. 
It's been like 30 minutes and it's set up pretty good actually. This jam is amazing. It tastes so good. So even if it's a little watery, that's okay. Gonna have a PB&J with it. Super excited.